Good morning and welcome to Wednesday's Daily Reflection. I hope you're well. We're going to begin with some words of praise from the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Amen. So uh, as we follow Jesus 100, we're up to chapter 13 today. We're looking at Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 to 17. Now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Well, as Robin Gamble points out, up until now, Jesus has been spending time down south in Judea, perhaps even with John the Baptist. But now John has been arrested and we're told by Luke that Jesus is now 30. He's arrived at age and it's time for him to begin his mission and ministry. And so he goes back north and makes a new home down the road in Capernaum. It's by the sea. And this will be the place of his ministry. People will know him there already. And he becomes established there. It's his launch pad. And immediately he's preaching the kingdom to those who are around him. God is coming near. God is coming near as Jesus confronts demonic power. God is coming near as Jesus prays for healing. God is coming near as Jesus brings peace and transforms friendships and relationships. As Robin challenges us, uh, what would it be like if we were to be Jesus in our neighbourhood? He uses a wonderful metaphor which is drawn from the passage. Because uh, as we use those words from Isaiah, which Matthew refers to, he seems to infer that the place is in complete darkness. Well, it is spiritually. It's not that they're intrinsically bad so much as no one has yet turned on the light the jesus light has come to capernaum and suddenly everything is transformed the kingdom of heaven has come near no different for us in our streets and in our neighborhoods many people feel that they're oppressed by darkness at this time and what's needed is for someone to turn the Jesus light on in our homes, in our streets, in our neighbourhoods. Will we be the ones to do that, to bring peace, to broken new relationships, to encourage reconciliation, to bring healing where it's needed, to pray against demonic powers. Uh, Robin's challenge to us all is that we become Jesus for our neighbourhood. And so I'm going to use the prayer that he finishes his chapter with us to challenge us. I hope you're enjoying Jesus 100. So Robin says to meet and befriend, to go into people's villages and homes, to heal and drive out demons to invite and proclaim, to scatter seed and to grow fruit. That's the challenge. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, as you walk the roads of your Galilee, may you now walk the paths into mine. 
come and visit my family and friends. Meet my people. Bring your healing and good news into my human village. Amen. And may it be so. Um, God bless. Have a great day. And see you soon. Bye now.